Now here's a factoring problem that might catch you the first time you run into one. Now on first glance, it looks like a problem where the groups are identical and you can pull them out to the front. But a closer look and we see that these two groups aren't identical. X minus one and one minus X. They're really close, but not identical. So are we stuck here? Well, here's a little trick to overcome this problem. Noting that x minus 1 is just the negative of 1 minus x. That is, the x is positive in the first group and negative in the second. Also, the 1 is negative in the first group and positive in the second. They are exactly negatives of each other. Also, as an aside, we recall that if we multiply a group within the brackets by a negative, or a negative one, it just switches the signs of everything in the brackets, which is the same as the first group if we rearrange. Combining these ideas, let's put a negative one in front of the second set of brackets, and we can switch all the signs within the brackets. Those two cancel each other out. And now we have a match, both a positive x and a negative one. So let's multiply the 2 and negative 1, and we get negative 2, and then we'll switch the x and the minus 1, and it looks exactly like we want it. Each term has an identical group now, and now we can pull it out front. And our answer would be x minus 1 times y minus 2. Now some call this the switch sign trick, and once you've done it a few times, it's a great tool to have in your toolkit. Let's try one more of these. Again, initially it looks like a question where you can pull those identical groups to the front, but they're not quite the same. A minus B is not the same as B minus A, but we can fix that. Let's double check that they're opposites. A is a positive in the first group and negative in the second. Yep. B is a negative in the first group and positive in the second. Perfect. We can use the switch the sign trick. We'll put a negative one in front of the second group and switch the signs, again, canceling each other out. And in the next step, we'll multiply the y and the negative one to get negative y, and we'll switch the items in the second group, just so they look normal. And voila, we have a nice clean group problem. Identical groups that we can pull out to the front, the a minus b, and we're done. Try a few on your own, and make sure you're comfortable with this trick.